I did it. My research is finished at last. Tomorrow I'll submit it to the professor. It will be a big day. Tomorrow is the anniversary of Dad's disappearance, too. It's already been ten years. Henry Morgan, the famous archaeologist, vanished under mysterious circumstances. This was the most recurring headline in the newspapers. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried really hard to understand where your final research took you. A hello to Mom, and then to sleep. Unfortunately, she can't be here tomorrow. Her latest expedition in the Amazon is taking longer than expected. Let's hope she receives my email. Good night, Mom. Coming! This postman believes that everything he delivers is urgent. One can never even get a few hours rest. It's only 2 p.m. The day has only just started. Let's see. Bills. A letter for me? Nobody writes to me, usually. It's dated July 25th, 2008. The same day my father disappeared. Dear Willie, it's Dad. If you received this letter, it means that my mission didn't go according to plan. I can't linger or I would put your mother and you in danger. You must go to the old inn in Bone Town as soon as possible. Room 09, but never trust anyone. Everything begins there in the warmth of a friendly place. Love, Dad. Hmm. It certainly isn't a prank. The style and handwriting are my father's. I've looked for clues to his disappearance for ten years. And I even got a letter from him. I must leave for Bone Town immediately. I'll have to manage somehow, because Mom is still traveling. But Bone Town isn't far. With a little money and a bike, I can get there in a few hours. I saw the bike around the house. There's even some money around here somewhere. Off we go. Perfect. I already found the bike. Or rather, what's left of it. To leave, I'll need all the other parts, too. Hi, I'm Willie. Would you like to take a short tutorial to learn how to handle things in my world? All right, let's start. My trusty old piggy bank. My mother gave it to me as a present. According to her, it's the best way to learn home economics. Or, in other words, learn to save. And judging by the sound the piggy bank makes, I got pretty good at it. Its contents could come in handy. A nice compass. Giotto always had one too, or so they say. An ordinary incandescent table lamp. It simultaneously illuminates and warms. Et voila! It certainly helped me sleep better. It won't come off. It looks like it's bolted on. That's why I couldn't remember where the bike was. Over the years, I dismantled it and used the various parts. Luckily, I wrote everything down in case I had to reassemble it. It's a tribute to my favorite band by the artist Glenn Fernandez Sardi. Collecting everything found lying about is a real fixation. A bicycle wheel. Too easy. I need a ladder to get to it. The wardrobe door. I can make a very good impression with this. Essential for traveling. It's the wardrobe's top drawer. Empty. I could fill it up with the stuff inside the boxes around the corner in the corridor. Too many drawers. I don't have enough clothes to fill them all.
They look like the pedals of a bicycle. They will come in handy. I'll take them with me. Here they are. Too many drawers. Empty. I could fill it up. Better shut the closet door so I can get a better grip. It won't be an ISO 9000 certified ladder, but it will do. Got you, wheel. It's a photo of my cousins, Nate and Sammy Morgan. I haven't heard from them in years, but we were always close. It's a memento. Best leave it here. I wonder what this key opens. No way. If we start by taking a key at the beginning of the adventure, what will happen next? One of the most precious books in my collection. I can't tell you how many times I've read it. The artist wanted to express the concept of the Ubermensch tied down by the instability of human life. All I see is a comfortable armchair in front of a landscape. Maybe this explains why I'm not an artist. The painting is really beautiful, but so is its setting. It's Furniture in the Valley by Giorgio de Chirico. It's essential to remember the title and the author's name. From here I can see the closet. I glimpse maps and various memorabilia, but I don't believe they'll take me to Bone Town. I promise when I get back, I'll sort everything in alphabetical or chronological order, just as I've been doing for the last year. Every house should have one, by law. It's better than a Swiss army knife. It can be used for all sorts of things. I feel more at ease taking it with me. There's a lot of stuff still left to sort out. Notes, research, coming from a family of adventurers, what else could be expected? It's my toolbox. My very useful tools. If only there was a rubber chicken, but these could come in handy too. The bathroom door. I love research, but not to this extent. If somebody threw something in there, it means it wasn't meant to come out again. I dare not imagine the fabulous surprises hidden behind this closet door. There's a lot of stuff in here, but it's no use to me. I confirm my morning impression. I'm particularly handsome today. And even the pimples I had yesterday have vanished, making room for other smaller ones. I prefer to leave it here, otherwise I won't be able to monitor the phases of my puberty. An old bottle of sun lotion. Judging by the date on its cap, I suspect it's dried up completely. Let's take it. One never knows what might come next. Liquid soap. The modern hygienic solution. I ran out of it this morning. I meant to go shopping, but my plans fell through. Body care beauty products. And the results can be seen. There isn't a drop left. I used it all for the bath I was planning to take. I was ready for a nice relaxing bath. Best to postpone it.
I need something to get the plug out. I don't want to get wet. I see no alternative. Now you'll discover the huge power of a plunger. Nice work. Now I can safely leave home. Well, look what was hiding in the bathtub. Look where you ended up, dear old useful cog. It's certainly a part of the bicycle. I'm amazed by the extremely intelligent use I made of it. My mother's bedroom. Looks like it's not locked. My mother took almost everything with her for this journey. The lamp is on. When my mother's busy with research, everything else comes second. I better not turn it off. Mom must have had her reasons for leaving it like this. At least I think so. I see all that working out has yielded results. Admire my physical prowess. It's the family crest. I don't think it has the same value as that of lords or barons. As a matter of fact, I believe it was created by my father to honor the Morgan roots in pursuit of knowledge for glory and posterity. Dad used to say this at the end of bedtime stories, the protagonist of which was invariably a Morgan. It's not about bragging to friends. It's the symbol of my family, and I'm proud of it. It doesn't look like the other figurines. Strange object. Let's see what happens when I pull one of the branches. I thought so. Ingenious! Typical of my mother. I bet she designed it. Look at the nice ring inside it. A ring. At first glance, it looks antique. I guess my mother didn't take it with her for fear of losing it. It looks ancient, and there's also an engraving inside. Difficult to make out. S.C. Arvis. Mag A. I think I know what it is. I'll put it in the bag. It might come in handy. Wow! Now in your inventory you have items that you can combine. Doing so is very simple. Open the inventory, select an item with the left mouse button, then select a second item. If successful, wait a few moments and you'll see these items combine and a brand new one will appear. This will certainly be very useful. Try to combine the item you just found with another item you already have in your inventory. It's an antique ring. The engraving SC Arvis Mag A reminds me of something. And it came to pass that my criminal career began. Now I feel just like Lupin. It's my mother's alarm clock. Ever since she gave it to me to repair, though, it stopped working altogether. Let's see what's wrong with it. Look what was inside it. Maybe that's why it wasn't working. Replacing the internal alarm with the bicycle bell might not have been a brilliant idea. I don't need a broken alarm clock for my trip. Useful, but not for everything.
By the looks of it, it seems like a bicycle bell inserted into an alarm clock. Which is why the alarm clock stopped working. I think I'll need it shortly. They were all written by Elizabeth Reed, my mother. To me, it's a sort of logbook of her travels over the last ten years. After touring the world, she decided to partly reveal the origin of her discoveries. I'm in many of them, before becoming mature enough to look after our home and carry out my own research. I've already read them all. From here we can access the ground floor. My ancestors were great navigators. According to family legend, our lineage descends from no less than the famous pirate Henry Morgan. But this is another story. It's a work by Vladimir Kush, Departure of the Winged Ship. He's my grandfather, himself a famous archaeologist. He was among the first to discover the lost civilizations of the Amazon. I'm the bookworm of the family. It's a work by the great artist Tiago Huacel. He called it Suasuna. To remember my little dog Pipoca, and to keep the front door closed. It's Pipoca, as painted by Tiago Huacel. I remember when you could get in there. It works perfectly. I would only run the risk of damaging it. Old reminders. There's information that could be useful. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Fix mom's alarm clock. And there's more. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Buy new sun lotion. And there's more. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Save money. And there's more. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Return books to the library. And there's more. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Read instructions to assemble bicycle. And there's more. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Never leave bath full of water before going out. And there's more. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Water doesn't work metal loose. It makes it rust. And there's more. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Important bracket maintenance. Keep nice and smooth. And there's more. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Tidy boxes and closet. It's the door to the kitchen. It's my bicycle. Or rather, a part of it. There's still something missing. More books. The famous What Became of the Great Archaeological Finds by I. Jones and History of Sunken Ships, Chapter 1. Closely related to the second chapter, History of Sunken Ships, Incorrect Construction Techniques. Owls are not what they seem. Some things still frighten me. How can I possibly use it? Maybe this is the best place for it. I've already read them all. From here, I can access the rest of the world. I can't remember where my mother found it, but I always feel like I'm being watched when I'm here. I would like to return it among the boxes stacked in the closet, but I'd better leave it here. It's a regular gas stove. I can't. When mom leaves for a trip, she always turns off the gas to avoid any unpleasant surprises. She always says that for a kid my age, the microwave is more than enough. I don't think the incident last year helped. Let's just say that calling the fire department about a burned pan can't exactly be considered my finest moment. They look like tins to store pasta or cookies. 
In this, my mother used to hide little surprises for me. Let's see if I'm still lucky. Would you look at this? It looks like there's a little emergency money in the bottom of the tins. There's no greater emergency than this. It's quite a bit of money. Once the piggy bank is opened, I could have a small fortune. Very useful when one is always in a hurry. I could do with something to cook. Others use it to cook sweet little furry animals. I prefer heating up something already cooked. This is a brilliant example of how a kitchen can be untidy and clean at the same time. It doesn't look like it, but there's a logical order. If I start moving everything, the whole day will be affected by it. It's the fridge. My mother also uses it as a board for her memos. Pepperoni and pineapple pizza. A real delicacy. Pepperoni and pineapple pizza is my favorite. Maybe I might eat a slice later for a snack. Various foods. Easy to warm up in the microwave and nutritious enough. No thanks. I never eat between meals. Mom always says that milk is good for my fragile bones. That's why we always have a supply in the fridge. I already had breakfast. Mom always... That's why we... It looks just like the handlebar from my bike. I can't take it. It serves an important function in this fridge. I used it temporarily to reinforce one of the shelves. If I pull it out, everything will fall down. I first need to fix the shelf. Every meal has been carefully selected by Mom based on its caloric intake and ease of preparation. This screw is loose. There's a risk the shelf might fall. Just what I needed. I couldn't go anywhere without it. Not now. It's made of rubber. It will certainly come in handy, if it only had a pulley. It's not much, but it will just have to do. It's a present for... Let's see if this rubber hammer might come in handy. Let's not do that anymore. Excellent idea. That way I can open it without causing irreparable damage. I wonder how much I've managed to save in the last few months. Uh, I expected more. All that noise and all I got is this lot of gears? I don't even know how they ended up in here. It has already yielded all it can. It won't come off. It looks like it's bolted on. Not a single drop coming out. It must have dried up completely with time. Excellent! The heat from the lamp is melting the oil. It's ready to use now. The rusty screws are loosening up. I also finished the suntan oil. I better leave the empty bottle here. Now it works! Well, look what was inside the piggy bank. From this angle, it looks like one of the bike wheels, coated in feathers.
Very good. There's still something missing. Another part. Almost ready. Making progress. I can glimpse its shape. It's not time yet. I don't know how to connect it. How professional. Nearly there. It's not time yet. It's my bicycle. I've already taken what I need. This is the map that led my mother to the discovery of her first sunken shipwreck. I've decided to keep this souvenir as a good luck charm. She's been looking for new treasures ever since. A little like my father, before his disappearance. They were always soulmates. Since my father left, Mom has devoted herself entirely to me and her work. Then I grew up. I don't need a map to get to Bone Town. I already know where it is. Moreover, this isn't a map of our state. It's my toolbox. Here's a part of the bicycle. The one it can't do without. It's always good to have one for a pleasant bike ride. I'd really love to try it. I think there's still something missing. It's not time yet. Perfect. A few more parts. Nearly there. Not long to go. Not long to go. Nearly there. They connect perfectly. The bike is ready. I just have to take it, and that's it. Bone Town, here I come! Let's go.
It felt like something from my bike was missing. I forgot to mount the brakes in my hurry to leave. Fortunately, I escaped without any major damage. Better take what's left. I'm especially sad about the bike. I was very fond of it. I have vague memories from when I was a child, but I don't think the fountain was in this condition. I remember my father told me the city was built around this place, because a source of fresh water spilled out of here. Now the city seems to be letting itself go. I could pick all the weeds and try to fix it, but I'm not here for that reason. I've arrived at the Dead Man Inn. This was the place I always stayed with mom and dad when we came here. And it's the same place indicated by my father in his letter. Better leave it here. Other travelers might need it. It's the Dead Man Inn. Today's special. Pigeon pudding drowned in grog. Hardtack and fat fried in grog. Grog cake? It looks like a diet rich with fiber and carbs. Better leave it for the next customer. There are tons of options. Beer, more beer, grog, more grog. I can also try the house specialty, beer and grog. Not to be confused with grog and beer, a useless and tasteless beverage. A Fabergé egg at the Dead Man Inn? It's a poster for the Lafitte Amusement Park, the most prestigious amusement park in Bone Town. I stand corrected. The only amusement park in Bone Town. Grand opening October 29, 1915. By now, it's probably the only abandoned amusement park in Bone Town. The last pages are blank. Well, the whole book is blank, actually. It's the key to room 09, the one indicated on my father's letter. I absolutely have to take it. It's the key to room 10. I guess he's the owner. Good evening, my good man. Good evening, boy. How can I help you? I need a place where I can stay tonight. It's your lucky day, boy. The Dead Man Inn is the best in the business. Very good. I almost feel at home. Are there any rooms available? I'm happy to check, but I have to warn you, we are in peak season. Hmm. In this one, we still have to clean up bloodstains. Room 08 is already occupied by me. I just have number 09 and 10 left. Then 09 would be perfect. That is also my lucky number. In that case, I can't do anything other than give you room 10. But I just told you I'd like to have 09. Everybody likes number 9. If I gave you that room, the next customer could only take number 10, which nobody likes. So they would leave. I could leave too, since I'm not pleased with that. Of course. Indeed, you have the look of someone who can go and choose another inn. For your information, Dead Man Inn is the most comfortable, as well as the only inn, in a 40-kilometer area. You can also go find yourself another inn and come back tomorrow morning. I'm always here. So, room 09 or 10? Room 10 is okay. Do you have money for the accommodation? Yes, I think I can pay for one night in this amazing resort. I don't know what a resort is, but it is sufficient that you have the money to pay. Here's the money. Kid, this isn't much. It will only be good enough for one night. I think that's enough. Good. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? Morgan, 
Willie Morgan. Morgan? That name sounds familiar to me. Have you already been in our lovely little town? Many years ago, but I was very young. Maybe you remember my dad, Henry Morgan. Henry Morgan, you said? Something springs to mind, but I think a long time must have passed. Yes, a long time. I'd say ten years since he disappeared. And why do we have the pleasure of seeing you again in Bone Town? Definitely for the hospitality. I agree. Here at the Dead Man Inn, the customer is of the utmost importance. I have no doubt about it. Now I have to get back to my job. Help yourself to the key to room number 10. Thank you. Once you are settled in your room, you'll find a pre-printed form. I need to complete the check-in. Bring it back as soon as you have filled it out. All right, thank you. Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs> I can access the upper floor from here. Hello, boss. It's me. You won't believe this. Henry Morgan's son just showed up here. Henry's son? Why did he come here? He hasn't said too much about the reason for his visit. What do you want me to do? Do I warn Bob? Yes. Standard procedure. Okay. As soon as the kid comes back here, Bob will take a good look at the belongings of the young Morgan. Sure, boss. I'll keep you posted. See you later. There are a series of pictures portraying famous people who seem to have stayed here. Stanko Stupar immortalized Abraham Lincoln. Behind that door is the orderly's room. It's locked. Owls. Owls again. According to what the innkeeper said, this is his room. I'd really prefer not to enter. I didn't know Walken came here too. He's been immortalized by the artist Ayman Oktar. I shudder to think what it might be. Color and density do not bode well. I'd rather not touch that substance. It's a Riyadh Kasim work. This is the room my dad told me about. I have to get inside. Tiago Huazel painted this subject. Maybe the youngest visitor to the Dead Man Inn. This portrait is the work of Tiago Huazel. It seems like a piece of modern art. Restricted to personnel only. It doesn't lead to other rooms. It looks more like a second entrance. I guess it leads outside, but right now I have other priorities. Room 10, the one most coveted by the customers of the Dead Man Inn. I can't open it, it's locked. It's an aftershave. Somebody was in a hurry to leave the room and forgot it. A peculiar scent. I wouldn't say it's good, but at least it adds a different touch to the place. It looks like a rudimentary room bell. It's sealed. It looks like something bad happened. I'm not sure I want to know what. There are certain places that can scare you with a floor like this. A fireplace of great worksmanship. It's the form the innkeeper was talking about. First I have to fill in this form, and then I can use the services of the room. I haven't got a pen with me, and can't see one around. Better go back to the innkeeper and ask for more info.
I saw the stain in the hallway. You have very good eyesight. It blends well with the rest of the upholstery. Well... I'm waiting for the cleaning lady to use her expertise to remove that. I'd like to have a touch of freshness in the air when it's done. I expect that won't be easy. The fireplace in the room is very nice. It's one of the many points of pride at the Dead Man Inn. There's one in every room, hand-built by one of my ancestors, brick by brick. Thanks, and goodbye. <laughs> I'm back with the form you talked about, but I haven't got a pen with me and I still have to fill it out. Doesn't matter. Give it to me so I can write the essential data down. Thank you. Name and surname. Your memory is a bit spotty. I'm Willie Morgan. Sorry, kid. You know how it is. Age plays shameful tricks. You seem like a different person now. Kinder and more friendly. Maybe I left you with a bad impression before. I'd like to make things right now. Did you hear that too? Uh, hear what? There are a lot of noises in this inn. Did you hear it now? It's probably some little animal. The one who made that sound must be a big one. And how? What now? Did you hear that noise again? Yes, but I don't think you should be worried. It's normal. In fact, I think it's finished now. How can you be so sure? It happens all the time. As soon as you open a door, drafts let the wind through and it does funny things. Okay, what else do you need? I'd say I'm okay with this. I have everything I need. Only name and surname? Here in Bone Town, we need very little information. The rest will fall right into place. Okay, now I must get back to work. Me too. I'm very busy. With what? <laughs> okay, thank you. Um... Room 10, I'm coming. Oh my god! And to think that, according to the innkeeper, it was just a little animal. Luckily, I always keep the important things with me. Never trust anyone. Dad was right. I better warn the innkeeper. What the hell happened here? I guess a robber came in and trashed the whole room. I cannot be 100% sure, but all clues lead to that. Have they taken anything valuable from you? I have all my valuable things on me. Better this way. The Dead Man Inn is the most comfortable in the area, but it doesn't have any insurance in the event of theft, disappearance, or death. I was lucky it was just a theft. Unfortunately, there have been many such cases in Bone Town lately. Seeing the current condition of this room, can I have room 09 now? I already explained that I can't. I'm awaiting a huge influx of tourists in the next few days, and I need that room. If you could wait just a few minutes, I will clean everything up like it was before. Then, as compensation, I won't make you pay from tomorrow night on. Your kindness astounds me. Seems I can't do anything other than accept it. Wise choice. Now, if you can clear out, I have to clean up the room. If you give me the key back, I'll clean up everything and give it back to you at the entrance. I'll take a moment. Using the back door, I'll be at the entrance before you arrive. Thanks, my good man. I guess it leads outside, but right now I have other priorities. I saw the stain in the hallway. You have very good eyesight. It blends well with the rest of the upholstery. Well... I'm waiting for the cleaning lady to use her expertise to remove that. 
I'd like to have a touch of freshness in the air when it's done. I expect that won't be easy. Have you already cleaned up the room? Yes, everything's in order again. Here's the key. Okay, thanks. And you have all the services of the Dead Man Inn at your disposal. Like what, for example? The most important one is room service. And following that, the Do Not Disturb. How does the room service work? When the customers call, it is the duty of every good innkeeper to answer. I try to be as fast as possible so as to not leave my position untended. If you don't see me at the counter, it's because some impediment forced me to use the back door. There are a lot of steps to get there. Going down is not a problem and speeds up my movement, but climbing really slows me down. Thanks, that seems clear to me. What's the Do Not Disturb? It's this amazing object. Only paper of the highest quality for our customers. With the writing, Do Not Disturb, in giant letters. You just have to hang this on the door, and I'll know you don't want to be disturbed. Here, take it. Thanks, very useful. Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs> you hang this outside your hotel room to note that you don't want to be disturbed. Let's see if I can. Done. This sign is useless now. I'd rather not take it with me. It is used to warn that the floor is wet. I don't know what's inside this bucket, but from the smell, I'd say something that isn't alive anymore. The things I have to do. Let's just hope it doesn't spill. I wouldn't really know what to use to get rid of this stink. Now I have access to the orderly's room. Just how I pictured it. And now something classy. The contents haven't changed, but now there's a fresh musk ox scent. Very good. It looks like the cleaning has finally started. Un Unless further surprises arise, I should be able to open room 10. I can't open room 08 with the key to room 10. What now? Oh, that must be the new guest. I saw straight away that he was a troublemaker. Better go check. Agile and silent like a ninja. I didn't even realize the cleaning lady finally got to work. Better not walk across it. I'd risk ruining this beautiful work. Oh, she also added the essence of musk ox. My favorite. I'll go around the back. That guy's gonna have to wait for a second. Nobody's coming. Better go check the entrance.
This is my chance. Let's hope there won't be any other obstacles. At last! At last! They're apple cores. They really leave much to be desired as a welcome gift. I don't trust taking them. There's the chance they could have been eaten by mice, the owner of the place, or the cleaning lady. In any of the three cases, I don't want to take them with me. In this room, they seem to have taken one step ahead in technology. No rope to pull. Everything starts there, in the warmth of a friendly place. I think my father meant warmth in a literal sense. Perhaps he hid something in the fireplace. Let's try searching there. What is this? This brick doesn't seem to be bonded to the fireplace like all the others, but I can't rip it out. It seems after all these years it is partially calcified back into the fireplace. I need something to grab hold of the cracks. This brick doesn't seem to be bonded. I can't do this. Maybe the temperature variations made it stick. I need some help. It's the bathroom door. At least this one seems to function. A bathroom. Tradition tells us it's better not to spy on showers with the curtain closed. Tough luck! Fate really doesn't want me to take a shower or a bath. They seem to have invested a lot in the guest's hygiene. I don't need it right now. It's a drawer. Look what's inside. Somebody forgot a nail file. Better take it. It could come in handy. It seems to be working. I can take out the mortar holding the brick. Clever, a niche. Let's see what's inside. It looks like an old library card. It belonged to my father, Henry Morgan. Last read book, Properties of Concrete. What did my father want to tell me? After this amazing night, it'd be better to go back to my room and rest. First, I'd rather take the key to room 09 back to reception. I'd prefer to avoid having problems with the innkeeper. I have a really big day ahead of me tomorrow. I think the time has come to find out what Dad was working on. I better check the library card again. I'm sure Dad left me some other clue. It's a card for the Bonetown Library. The card belongs to Henry Morgan, my father. Let's see the last red book, Properties of Concrete. What was he working on in his final research? Better go to the library to make some inquiries. Better not ruin it. I need it for when I arrive at the library. Good morning, good sir. Good morning. How was your night? There were moments I thought I wouldn't survive. Then I saw a ray of light and realized that the worst was over. These are just some of the thrills you can experience here at the Dead Man Inn. What happened to Bone Town in the last few years? I remember when I used to come here that it was a nice little town. I think it's just progress. The young prefer to go try their luck elsewhere, apart from a few exceptions. It's just down to us from the older generation to keep up the honor of Bone Town by welcoming the incoming tourists with love and professionalism. I'd have to dispute that, actually. <sighs>
Is the public library still there? Sure, boy. It's one of the crown jewels of Bone Town. At least it is according to what Margaret, our librarian, tells us. I'm simply reporting what's said because I personally never go to such places. Strange, I would have bet the opposite. Could you tell me where it is? Turn left at the main square, just outside the door. Boy, if you don't want to get lost, use this. It's an old Bone Town postcard, but it was used as a tourist map during the Golden Years. It could be of use to orient yourself and move around Bone Town. Thank you. Are you interested in something in particular? Just to reminisce a little bit. My father used to take me there all the time. Thanks, and goodbye. <laughs> Better leave the key here. I don't know if I'll want to avail myself of this service again tonight. There you go. Now I can leave. It's the front door of Bone Town's library. It looks new. I don't need it. It's the public library of Bone Town. I never imagined it would have survived, given the state of the town. Wow, there are some extremely rare first editions here. Better not. It's like seeing my house. Even if I picked everything up, then it would suffer the same fate in our closet at home. At first glance, there seem to be different tomes, some of which have considerable value too. I wonder why they're out here. I don't want to take anything from here. It's still material in the public domain. It's one of those old message boards on which they hung the wanted posters. Here in Bone Town, time seems to have stopped. There are still posters of the gang that was raging here decades ago. The members have become famous. I recognize the posters of Rufi, Nami, and Zoro. The others are faded from exposure to bad weather. There's also a little footnote. Posters offered by the Lafitte Amusement Park. I don't need them. The library entrance. 